On to race number six on the programme. This is a class four up to the mile, headed by decisive action. Beaten by Bulletproof, second, last time out, over course and distance. Everlaugh drops in class. He's a four-time winner in this grade in the past. Bundle of Delight gets up from the 14 to the 1600 metres. Like My Day was a last start, course and distance. Uh, winner, family leader, gets barrier 14. January rolls forward, but he's dropping in trip. Marvellous fans was beaten favourite last time out. Bulletproof, last start winner, but gets barrier 13 to try and repeat. So all for St Paul's, one first up this season, has been beaten since. That was 1400 metres. Apex top, last start winner over the 1400 metres. And California legend gets the inside gate, and he likes to roll forward as well. Victor Wong will ride him, taking five off his back. And there's five horses that have been up at Chungfar as well, Tom. Yeah, decisive action, uh, one of those, and uh, he'll be uh, just uh, behind uh, midfield. Will decisive action in this race out of gate number 11 for uh, Zach Purden. California Legend's a horse that likes to go forward to, with uh, Light My Day. He was able to lead all of the way last time out at Light My Day, and he was support on that uh, occasion too. All for St Paul's, Apex top there with the trail out of gate number four. Casimiro looks a little tricky for uh, Jerry Chow on what he has to uh, try and negotiate with uh, him out of gate number nine, Everlath midfield. Bottom of delight. Now, he did catch the eye at his last start over 1,400 metres. Uh, his work's been good. Matthew Chadwick's doing the work on him there. He did one over the 1,600 metres in Australia before he got here. He looks good and he looks ready to, to run a really good race from Barrier 5. Uh, Seaweed Fortune's been up in Chungfa. He's looked really good this season. His runs have all been good. And he's going to put the putting blinkers on for the first time. You can see him uh, working here nicely in, in his track work. So another one that's going really well at the moment. And Marvellous Fans. Uh, he's only had the three starts. And uh, he's sort of uh, moving nicely here in the morning. He's a little, little bit of an awkward draw in barrier 10, but he's at peak fitness now as well. OK, well, we'll start off with some winning form here, and that's Light My Day, who broke through. This was his maiden victory. Uh, Jim, who chases him uh, home, Tom, finishing in second place. But um, any chance for a repeat? I haven't got him in, but he'll be up near the pace in this race. He's uh, trialled since uh, he ran eighth in that uh, trial, very quiet trial it was, wasn't tested, but he was ridden here nicely off the uh, front, uh, came into a uh, 12 to 1 in the end, and he was able to uh, dominate uh, here, uh, Paul. It was a, a nice front-running ride. Yeah, nice nice win from this horse. Whether he can put two together, I, I agree with you. I mean, Jimmy was the horse chasing him home, wasn't it? So, uh, look, the form's a little bit questionable for me for this horse. OK, well, more winning form here with Bulletproof, who finally put it all together himself last time out as well. It was quite a convincing winner as it turned um, out, Paul. Seaweed Fortune, a decisive uh, action in behind. Seaweed Fortune, eight pounds better off with him this time. Yeah, I quite like Seaweed Fortune, and I do like Bulletproof as well. I mean, Bulletproof's always threatened to do this, and then he's finally put it all together. But he has drawn awkwardly in barrier number 13. We need a good ride here from Wagner Borges to uh, get him home there. But, uh, look, I bought them both in on a minor lot. He was able to uh, deliver really strongly on this occasion, had the rest all uh, racked and stacked there, did uh, bulletproof. And he'd been threatening to do something like that uh, for a while. There was nothing wrong with the runs there at all from Seaweed Fortune or Decisive Action. Decisive Action, I think, is uh, building closer to a win again too. Mm -hmm. And Seaweed Fortune will switch those pink cheek pieces for a pair of blinkers on Saturday as well. Um, Apex top, Tom. This was a, a good win. Didn't look likely, probably at the 100, um, but uh, Antoine Hamelin's really galvanised him. Yeah, he had to get stuck into him and he really uh, rattled home late uh, there in a, a pretty busy finish. Uh, now he's since trialled as well and he trialled up behind Igniting. There was no pressure put on him at all in that uh, recent trial. Just want to see him do it again here. He's uh, up uh, with uh, a little bit more weight as well and he's drawn in gate number four. Wasn't uh, a big win on this occasion, uh, Paul, but he did really lift late. He did, didn't he? And he steps up from that 1400 to 1600, which looks quite good for him as well. But uh, a bit like you, Tom, I'd like to see him put two together. OK. For all the Jimu fans, here he is again, finishing <laughs> third. Uh, family leader included in this one, Paul. Yeah, and again, it's a Jimu form line, so how strong is it? Um, look, uh, family leader's been running well this season, but again, he's drawn awkward in barrier number 14. Uh, you can see um, uh, it, it goes along nicely enough here, but look, I didn't find a spot for him. Uh, no, Jimu, 19 start maiden, only three times in the placings. Uh, Me, Choi, Alexi, Bedell. I don't think he chases very hard. Um, you can see him trying to make up a little bit of ground there, but I've not got him in either, Jimu. OK. Well, remember that race, Beauty Angel, probably quite a short price uh, favourite in the last, but uh, there we go. What do we like here, Paul? I've got to make my each-way play in this race, and that's uh, the horse here, Bundle of Delight. Uh, up to 1,600, he's a double figure there at 12 and 3.2, and did win over this distance in Australia. Really caught the eye last start, barrier five. Looks ideal for him. Seaweed Fortune, the hardest to beat, along with Bulletproof coming out of the same race. And marvellous fans. Like He's been uh, consistent. He's won his three. He's had three runs now. I think he can uh, go close as well. Three, five, eight and seven. 
One horse on top for me, a decisive action for Zach Purton, who rides for Danny Shum. Zach's had two rides on this horse for a win in a second placing. Just drawn another bad barrier uh, this time round, decisive action, but I think he gets his opportunity. Did like the run of Bundle of Delight. He made good ground over on the rail last time out. Bulletproof and Seaweed Fortune. If I could have one more, would be Casimiro. I don't think he got too many favours last time out. He's been consistent since going to Paul O'Sullivan, and he's only got £115 this time round. So, 1385. All right. So, Seaweed Fortune, a best bet for me last time. I'm beaten, but um, I think I might go in again. Five for me on top there in race number six.